Here's what archaeologist Nelson Gleck asserts. This is a Jewish archaeologist. He's not a Christian. I want to finish with this, these two statements. It may be stated categorically that no archaeological discovery has ever contradicted a biblical reference. And listen, if you think about that, when you think about the thousands of artifacts, and you think about the literally tens of thousands of documentary evidence that we have, not one time have they found one shred of evidence that contradicts a biblical reference. Luke say and bring it. And I would say all of the apostles are because their record is true. Their record is true because they were exposed to the truth of Christianity. They witnessed miracles. They performed miracles. They witnessed Christ's life. And they themselves were willing to die. They themselves had disciples. That's why you have the church fathers. Ignatius was a disciple of the apostles. Polycarp was a disciple of the apostles. We believe Irenaeus may have even known the apostles. And we're talking about so many different people who, with the evidence of their life, said, you can do whatever you want to do to me. I know what I've seen with my own eyes. Final quote, and we'll finish with this slide. This is what Edward Glenning says about your Bible. And how privileged are we to have a copy of a King James Version Bible that was published just 22 years after the original 1611 King James. I'd like to thank the Berg family for allowing us to have the privilege of having a copy of the Word of God, uh, which men and women passed down to us, which men and women suffer persecution. People have bled from the Word of God. Your Savior bled for you. This last quote, Edward Lenny says, It is the most remarkably preserved book in the ancient world. I think that some of you, you have these preconceived, we call them presuppositions, that blind your minds to the proof and the evidence that's, that you're exposed to every single day. And my heart breaks for you because for those of you that think that there isn't a God or you don't think God is knowable, He's come a long way just to sufficiently communicate with you and I the truth. I didn't tell you this at the beginning of this lesson because I was afraid that some of you would tune out. But I want you to realize something, and this, this causes me great fear. This causes me to tremble. After witnessing the evidence that you've just seen on the screen, and even for those of you that are sleeping, you're now responsible. You're now responsible for the evidence that you've been exposed to. Jesus himself says, to whom much is given, much is required. Thank you.